Well, more than 100,000 candidates for organ transplants are on the U.S. national waiting list. As of January of this year, over 83% of those people are in need of a kidney. A Boardman woman is one of them. Now she's asking for your help. Alita Evans started having kidney trouble 11 years ago. She tells me it stemmed from high blood pressure, which is a leading cause of kidney failure. When the filtration rate for your kidneys reaches a certain point, uh, they will refer you for transplant. And mine uh, reached that point several years ago. Alita's filtration rate is down to 12 to 13 milliliters a minute. She's been on the transplant list at UPMC and Cleveland Clinic for over two years. That means if she doesn't get the transplant, she'll likely need dialysis soon. That's not something I really am looking forward to, mm -hmm. but that, that's essentially what is going to happen. So far, there's been 12 donors to come forward, all of them rejected for medical reasons. And each time, you know, you get your hopes up and uh, something looks really good and then your, your hopes are dashed and, uh, you know, I become very depressed for a while. Now, Alita and her husband Jim are doing everything they can to find a donor. Maybe you've seen this billboard driving down South Avenue. It says, save my life. They are hoping this effort will get her the transplant she needs. Her best hope is a live donor, an altruistic donor. A live donor gives her a longer longevity. Mm -hmm. the, the life expectancy from a live donor kidney is, is much longer than from a deceased kidney donor. There are several phases of the donation process, evaluation, surgery, and recovery. A donor typically spends two days in the hospital and has several weeks of recovery time. Alita Evans hopes to soon find her kidney donor match. It'd be a gift to life, actually. Now, Alita and Jim plan to put up another stationary billboard in the near future. As for the cost of the transplant, they say they will pick up all expenses for the donor. If you were interested in being a donor, we have their contact information on our website, wkbn.com.